Today's video, it's sponsored by Brava. So Brava is a revolutionary smart countertop device that cooks with patented pure light technology, enabling you to have a chef at your fingertips that can go from zero to 500 degrees in less than a second and has over a hundred chef curated cooking presets. This thing's insane. I came across Brava online on a few different tech sites and cooking sites and it just looked like something new and I had to try it. I reached out to Brava, see if they would send me one to give it a test drive, see how this thing actually cooks. Brava has their own curated recipes built into this. I'll tell you a little bit more about that. But they also have a marketplace where you can order pre-packaged foods from Peach Dish and Good Eggs. So I wanted to try a few of those recipes out and what I really wanted to see was how does this thing cook a frozen pizza out of the box comparing it to a regular kitchen oven. It says this thing's really fast. I want to see that. So Brava cooks with what they call pure light technology. On their website, it explains that is a mix of visible and non-visible light or infrared energy to cook the food quickly. Essentially, the way that they put it is they cook the food directly. They heat the food directly instead of heating the air around it or heating the tray. It's pretty ingenious, honestly. Because they're cooking with light, they have individual lights inside Brava that will cook in multiple zones. So you can have salmon in zone one and your veggies in zone two and everything will be cooked properly. Now, it's also loaded with two cooking sensors. First, the temp sensor. The temp sensor has five detection points providing precise temperature readings up to one tenth of a degree. This allows Brava to monitor your food and adjust the temperature accordingly to make sure everything's done right. Now the second sensor, and honestly the one that I'm the most excited for, it has a built-in camera. They call it the vision system. Now the vision system is built in to monitor the doneness of your food by its brown level. How brown is the food getting? Along with all this stuff, this thing is essentially a computer. It has a quad-core ARM Cortex A53 processor with eight gig of flash storage, one gig of RAM, and a five-inch multi-touch IPS display. Built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and a load of safety features. So all of this stuff comes at a price, and right now Brava has this starting at around $9.95, around $1,000. So let's get this thing all hooked up, get it powered on, we gotta hook it up to Wi-Fi, download the app for my iPhone, and uh, let's get to cooking some recipes. So we have the oven signed in, we have the app signed in. Let's just run through a few of the things here on this menu, because this looks really cool. It has an ingredients button to where you can actually go through and select all of your different ingredients, and it gives you a time listing for how much time it takes for those ingredients. So I'm gonna grab some food real quick, and then yeah, we're gonna make some food. So Brava sent me two complete meal kits from their marketplace. We got king salmon with asparagus and cherry tomatoes. Let's see, what is this? The double R hanger steak with sweet potatoes and baby kale salad. Okay, so let's get the, let's open up the app here and we'll get all of the step-by-step -step instructions for cooking this meal. So the first thing it says to do is to trim the bottom two inches of the asparagus and then cut into two inch pieces. And then it says, in a medium bowl, toss together the asparagus and then one teaspoon of cooking oil. Then evenly spread the asparagus across zone three of the glass tray. Okay, remove stems from cherry tomatoes. Then we're gonna do one more teaspoon of oil, another pinch of salt, toss these guys together, and then we're gonna put these on zone one. Okay, so in the next step, it's saying to spread about half of the butter into zone two. Let me just look at that salmon. It's, it really is beautiful. Beautiful color, smells great. We're gonna season both sides with some salt and then skin side down. And then top each salmon filet with a few sprigs of thyme. That went together incredibly fast. So the probe actually has thicknesses on it. So the thickest part of the meat is just slightly above the first black line. That's where we're gonna set it here. Connect the temp sensor. Insert temperature sensor horizontally into the food. And then we're gonna press the green button. Let's see how long this cooks for. Oh, and you could see on the oven that it's cooking. I mean, that, that looks amazing. It says it's gonna be done 
in about 10 to 14 minutes. That's wild. Cook complete, cook complete. It only took seven minutes. Oh, this is unbelievable. I mean, just, I can't get over this. I don't know if the glass tray is hot. Like, should I touch it? Yeah, it's hot. Okay. <laughs> it's cooked perfectly. It really is. Beautiful. B-A-U-T-I-F-U-L. This was quicker than a microwave. Cooked to dinner in seven minutes. A little bit of olive oil sprinkled on there. Sprinkled, sprinkled. And then just a bit of some salt. Gosh damn. Monica's gonna come help me try this so I can get another opinion. So she'll give you her outright thoughts. Let's bite in, let's get a little piece. There's still the skin on there, so. I mean, I, it looks good. Clink. There you go, Clink. Oh, that's mm. tasty. Very good salmon. Yep, we'll just go with that. Mm. It's like a ton of flavor, just like mm -hmm. burst. It's not mushy, it's, it's cooked and it's warm and it's juicy, but it's crisp. So I'm kind of curious about the asparagus, to see if that actually got cooked. Oh, mm. that's like dead on. Perfect. It's delicious. It still snaps. I'm happy with this whole dinner. Okay, baby. Well, this one's yours. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Bye, everyone. <laughs> Good job, Brava, on the salmon. So I'm gonna clean all this up. We're gonna do another cook on this thing. We're doing two more cooks. Let's bust out this hanger steak. Um, it says active time about 10 minutes, total time 20 minutes to cook this steak and to make this salad and everything that you got here. So let's go ahead and prep this thing and we'll get it in the oven. It's cooking. It's done. Nine minutes and 46 seconds. I mean, that looks pretty beautiful, I'll be honest. Let's see how this looks. That's a pretty good looking deal right there. I don't know what you think, but that's what I think. So I know this isn't my normal thing. I'm normally, you know, I've said I was thinking about switching out to eating meat. We're gonna do that today. This is gonna be my first piece of meat in probably two years. Mm. I'll say that is absolutely delicious. Just delicious. That's all I'm gonna do for now. Okay, I'm gonna clean this guy up. We're gonna get some frozen pizzas and we're gonna see how quick the Brava can cook a frozen pizza comparing it to a regular oven. So here we are, we are at the final test, the frozen pizza test. Now I just bought a vegetarian frozen, it's not delivery brand, and we're gonna see how well it does in Brava and in a traditional oven. Now I'm currently preheating my oven because in the oven it's gonna take about 24 minutes and it's been preheating for a few minutes now. It's, it's running right now. But let's get the one in the oven first. Hopefully we can get them out around the same time. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so we got the other frozen pizza in the oven. It's set for about 25 minutes, I think 26 minutes. Uh, we're gonna put this one on. Now, I opened it up and sized it. It, it kind of fits. It's, we're just gonna go with it. Let's just see what happens. That's what sauce stash is about. Fingers crossed, go ahead and then hit the go button. It says of 20 minutes, but I'll tell you, so far this thing has finished early on everything. It's so impressive. I mean, <laughs> I just can't get over it. Okay, ooh, this is smoking. I will say it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. The one that's in the oven's done. Let me go get that one real quick. Honestly, they look very similar. Now the Brava crust is darker on the bottom. So the big differences between the two of these is just time. Now with a regular standard kitchen oven, it took me about 13, I think 14 minutes to preheat my oven. And then it was about an additional 26 minutes to cook the pizza. You could have just got delivery. Now with Brava, I was able to stick the frozen pizza in the oven and at about 18 minutes, it was completely done. Same quality, actually crispier crust. It could have probably came out in 16 minutes. I think the Brava gets it. So I know I was only able to test Brava with a few things. And the one thing that really stands out with the Brava is its ease of use. I mean, it's really simple. There's there's not a whole lot going into it. It has extra options to touch things up if you want like the, a little extra sear to it or if it's not finished exactly the way you want it. So it gives you all of that freedom. For somebody with a really active lifestyle, somebody that's really busy, this thing's perfect because you could just pop in the ingredients that you're gonna cook, put it in there and do what you need to do. Incredible. I'm really excited to have this. This is gonna be in my kitchen now for good. I'm sure that Monica and I are gonna be using this quite a bit. Toaster ovens have just been iPhoned. So thank you, Brava, for allowing me to do this. If you wanna pick yours up, click the link in the description below. So I just got this one. If you guys click the link in the bottom of the description, bravo.com slash invite slash sauce stash, you're gonna get an additional $200 in marketplace credit 
for meal kits and Brava accessories. That's awesome.